Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to this week. That was a catch up and update on a few things that I've been doing, but not a lot. Um, we had a lot of rain this week, which caused localised flooding and it made life difficult to get around for work, shopping, etc. Um, today is Sunday the 25th of April and it is Anzac Day. We, we commemorate our fallen veterans, our current veterans, and remember them. Uh, it made it very difficult this morning to do a light up your driveway dawn service here it was thundering down with rain and we gave up and decided to come inside and watch it on television anzac day is important to thing and i thing's grandfather was um, fought at gallipoli and my dad was in italy during the second world war so yes um for those of you who don't know what anzac's about i anzac day is about if i find a link i'll leave it in the description below i will put links in the description below to all channels mentioned hopefully and all things that i talk about so let's get started my cows catch up on my cows nan's next knots luck of the draw cow i am really enjoying this i love it it i like the way the lap gown is turning out it's beautiful my color this week was the light blue number seven I don't know when I will stop. Um, I just love it so much. So this is my whip card with the eight colours picked and black was number nine, um, my base colour. That's why I call it my licorice blanket. And as you can see, number seven is the light blue. However, we have not had number four yet. We keep repeating some of the others, but number four is missing in action, which is this lovely peach colour for me. She did show that it was in the, the barrel, but it's just not coming out or getting picked. And maybe that's when I'll stop, when we finally do number four. But yeah, that is my whip card. And Nan's next knot's luck of the draw number three. If she does a number four, I'm probably going to be keen to join that because I have really enjoyed doing this. It is one of my favourite cows. So the other one I joined knowing that cows weren't really my thing was um, Zeta's Place Calendar Cow. And she's doing cows, but we can do anything. I couldn't find a cow for April I wanted to do. But I took the pictures of an April calendar and interpreted them into a tea cosy I need tea cozies for my May markets because I sold so many at my April market I did this pattern um, and if you can see it's got some like kiss crosses there just watching television I did make pattern notes in case I ever wanted to do it again but it's just sort of something that came out of my head and trying to be creative with the picture for April it is made in pure wool this is my stash yarn and this was yarn that was gifted to me by Janice. And it's doubled up for extra thickness. It's um, eight ply or three weight, two strands of each colour. So yes, I'll put a picture of um, Zeta's calendar for April. And you can tell me if I interpreted the colours correctly in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I don't know if I like this thickness. I may do this pattern a bit thinner. But yeah, that was my tea cozy for the calendar cow for april the stitch along cow with crochet nana aka michelle olivia stitch along i am way behind um mainly because i find it hard when i don't know some of the stitches and i have to go and do a tutorial to learn them i've decided as of yesterday i'm going to completely restart this again and do it a different way. I have no doubt I will, when I put my mind to it, I will catch up. Uh, but yeah, I am behind in that. So there's no real update then other than I've forgotten to catch up on it. Finished objects. Well, the April market was so successful selling 29 tea towels with crochet toppers. That's the other thing I've been doing this week, making tea towel toppers in different colors bathroom ones kitchen ones 
I've made five this week. The aim was to make one a day, but I got a little tired of it. So I only got five, not seven. I did, however, experiment and did it a different way and used my edit tool, the sharp tool. It takes a bit of getting used to and a bit of practice. I definitely need to wear a thimble because I stabbed myself a couple of times. But yeah, I didn't mind it. I did them the way I normally do and then I did a couple with the edge it tool. I think the edge it tool makes it quicker. But yeah, it depends on the weight of the fabric. But I did do five tea towels and they don't excite me. Just a means to an end because I do sell so many of them on my market store. The Bilby Pattern Giveaway Penny, a little bits of yarn and, and no catchy name, Ella, have claimed their prizes, which is nice. Thank you to everyone who joined in that little giveaway. It was so nice to see. And yes, their patterns will be on their way in the mail, hopefully by Tuesday, because Monday's a public holiday here, and as long as there's no more flooding and there is constant rain today, Hopefully I can get to a post office and send them on their way because they'll take a while to get there um, because one's going to Canada and one is going to USA. Uh, I have been tidying up my stash yarn and what I decided was, and I rearranged this shelf, is this is yarn that has been sent to me over a couple of years as gifts or I won it in a giveaway, mainly gifts. And I thought it's really remiss of me not to use that yarn on a project that I want to make something nice with. And I have decided during May I am going to find projects for some of this yarn. This yarn I have already decided on the project, so it'll probably be first off the ranks. This was sent to me as a um, random act of kindness by Sherry from Sherry's Bag of Holding. And yes, I didn't even take them out of the plastic and I decided, yes, that will be first off the rank. Having said that, I have one wall of Hobby Lobbies. I love this yarn in yellow that was sent to me probably in my first happy mail from Janet Lepre. And every time I go to use it, I go, oh, I can't use it. It's the only Hobby Lobby yarn I have. And I put it back. I will have to use it one day. But I think it will break my heart not to have at least one ball of Hobby Lobby yarn in my stash. Um, the other thing I decided while tidying up my stash, rather than do a scorched earth giveaway, I just pick two people I want to send care mail to. They will get some of my stash yarn that is new, not used, um, that I paid for. And I'm going to send that two lots of care mail this week if I can get to a post office. Just pick two people. I've been meaning to do it for a while and these two people keep popping into my head. So hopefully they'll get a nice surprise and it'll put a sparkle in their day. I want to thank all those subscribers I keep forgetting to that went back and watched all my old videos and gave me my watch time back that I lost due to a copyright um, question. It was really nice of you. Some people just watched everything. Others watched a few. There are too many of you to single anyone out, but it was really nice and I really appreciate it. I got my watch time back up and it's not great. It's I don't do lives. It's really not something I've really given much thought to. I may do one one day, but it's always different with time changes, me being in the Southern Hemisphere and a lot of people that subscriber in the northern hemisphere but you never know i do try and catch some lives especially in my lunch hour at work i have often dropped in on left is right sand sandy for a quick hello and a thumbs up crochet me pink, pink kelly i think i've dropped in on her and given her a thumbs up and said a quick hello while i'm having lunch um it's always nice to let people know you're there I do try and watch some replay of lives, but um, that's when time is permitting, like today with all the rain. Uh, the only thing I want to remind you of, it is the birthday make along. April is coming to an end, so make sure you post your pictures on Facebook or Instagram or email them to me. Um, it would be awesome. So far, pink is leading the way for the most popular colour, but we will see when we get to the end of April. 
because May is my birthday month and I'm really excited about May coming along. Yes, my birthday month is May and it's Thing's birthday month as well. So guys, thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe and remember, make sure you have one crafty day, maybe with a cup of tea. Bye for now.